and a U-shaped shell. And a U-shaped shell. Oh, my hip just popped. Are you ready? I am. Are you so ready for all of the facts? I, yeah. Right. Let's see what they are. Do you know what we're doing today? Um, no. No? No idea. Sharks? Dumbo octopus! Oh, fun. All right. Very fun. A jumbo octopus? Dumbo. A dumbo octopus. Like, does it have ears? Oh, it does have ears. It does have ears! That's weird. So, Grimpo Tethulus? Yeah, that word. Is a genus known as the Dumbo octopuses? There are 13 species <laughs> recognized in this genus. See, look at all cute and stuff. Uh, there are so few specimens readily available for study. There's a lot of issue about the taxonomy. The, the what? Taxonomy, like how to classify it and, oh, okay. and all that, all that fun jazz. Okay. The name Dumbo comes from the resemblance to the Disney character from the 1941 film Dumbo. I don't really get the resemblance though, other than the ears. Uh, because of the two big ear-like fins above each eye. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure if that was clear or not. <laughs> okay, well, I kind of knew that. Like, I think it's like the close resemblance. Uh, just ears. Yeah, just Not really close resemblance to me. I mean, like, uh, big floppy ears. That's... I would call them, like, elephant octopus, not Dumbo octopus. But I mean, like, they're also cute. They're Look really at smart, them. though. Look at them. They're so adorable. They are cute. They now, are cute. That one's kind of got a creepy eye. Well... <laughs> You can't win them all. <laughs> they eat crustaceans, bivalves, worms, and copepods. It's a copepod. Of all the things no. I looked up, I did not look up a copepod. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, future us, that's a copepod. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So this looks like one swimming away? Yes. Cool. Do all octopus... Or is it squid that shoot ink? Uh, Dumbo octopus do not squirt ink. Okay. Do they just try to like get away from their opponents by looking adorable and then running away? No, they have chromatophores like other octopus. Oh, so they can, they can blend in? Yes, they can change oh. their color. That's so cool. It is cool. Uh, the floaty blob boys are assumed to have worldwide distribution. They live in the cold abyssal depths between 3,300 feet to 13,000 feet down. They've been found off the coasts of Oregon, the Philippines, Martha's Vineyard, the Azores, New Zealand, Australia, California, the Gulf of Mexico, Papa, and New Guinea. Seems sneakily like the path of Professor Inkling and the Octonauts to me. It does a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although, I will say, in my research it said they do not squirt ink, and Professor Inkling and the Octonauts he does, does squirt ink. ink. Yeah. So I don't know if that was Can a I new development say... or what. I think it's really funny that Martha's Vineyard is considered an actual, like, a place. Like, she's so rich that she just, her vineyard is... It's a place. It is? I thought Martha, I thought you were just straight up talking about Martha Stewart's vineyard, because that is a place. Oh. Uh, she has nope, a vineyard. No, nope. Martha's Vineyard is a place. Someone has a country near Martha's Vineyard? It's off the coast of a place. A place that is known as Martha's Wild. Vineyard. I thought you were just talking about Martha Stewart's, like, vineyard that she has. I'm like, God, that rich lady. No. Nope. Humans are not one of their predators since they live so far down. Sharks and cephalopods are their primary natural predators. Sharks? Yeah. Those are small sharks, because none of these guys have looked that big. Are they big? Well, no, not really. Huh, can't wait. Well, I guess, yeah, they really look really down there. Sharks really aren't all that big when they get that down that low. Except for what are those big, the big old ones, Greenland sharks? Yeah, those guys, oh, those guys are old. Big boys. Oh, well, I mean. I just can't imagine like a great white shirt looking at this being like, yeah. Eat I that. mean, <laughs> if they're hungry, they're gonna be like, I'll eat whatever I can find, please. <laughs> they don't have ink sacs. These are fancy chromatophores, change color, and they also can change their shapes. Mm -hmm. They use siphons to push water to travel and use their head fins for stabilization. Mm -hmm. So they're not there for no reason. No, they use them. No, do they. I know some squids have like head fins, but mm -hmm. not all octopi have head fins. Right. Why do these guys have head fins? Just evolution. Just, just because they just got them. All right. They just got them. They live in such darkness, much like many of us. 
<laughs> that they have <laughs> that they have special little patches used to detect unfocused light. Uh, I don't really understand what that does because the information was not clear. It's all crazy, you can, like seeing their head. Yep. Mm. Um, they also like it was describing that they can also change to an invisible color with their chromatophores, oh, which I di- I did not understand. It gave me no additional information on the color of invisible. So I was I was. I- Literally just thinking about that, that picture popped up. And I wonder if, if they can just change their colors, if they can just go colorless and be invisible. Uh, so chromatophores are like specialized uh, little pores that can change mm-hmm. their colors with the chemicals inside yeah. of them, and they can expand and contract. Mm-hmm. So I'm one. Won- I'm wondering if maybe they're translucent. Naturally, but then wouldn't all baby octopi be translucent? Uh, maybe. Well, what is this guy doing? Breeding. Everyone's favorite part of nature. Dumbo octopuses do not have a special breeding period. The females carry multiple eggs in various stages of the maturation process. Males have a separate protuberance on one of their arms. Is she just punching her in the head to get her pregnant? Uh, that has an encapsulated sperm pack for the females. So they do a cool high five, he slips through the sperm pack, and she distributes the sperm to her eggs at any time she wants to. So these are not Dumbo octopuses. This is just octopus mm-hmm. in general. Uh, so yeah. And it looks like he's just punching her in the head. I realize that. Aren't you glad that's was, not how it works? It, um, sometimes. <laughs> uh, here are little little octopus eggs. Yeah, they're translucent. Hmm. Hmm. Gross. So after the eggs have been fertilized, she crams the kids under a rock, <laughs> or a shell, or something. The love finish cooking. And voila, new Dumbo octopuses. Just... Do, do kids hang out with mom with octopus? Or does mom run away? But just like with all other octopi, they don't stick around to care for the eggs. Okay. The babies are born, able to defend themselves, and can survive on their own. <laughs> so uh, it did say that sometimes if they can't find an appropriate place to put them, she'll tuck them up under the webbing of her arm until she does. Okay. And then she'll plant them and be like, later suckers. <laughs> Have fun, bye. Bye Bye-bye. Lady Dumbos have a much more obviously gelatinous body body type. Okay. Being wider than they are long, with larger eyes, and broadly U-shaped shells, just like me. (laughs) (laughs) so weird. All right. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Broccoli gelatinous. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to ask about that one. Uh, you were asking about shells. Yeah, what shell? What do we mean shell? I've never, I haven't, I just have no shells. Did not define. Oh, cool. Super cool. Find that on your own. So now that you've learned about the Dumbo octopus, what do you think? I don't, I, uh, I don't like they're called Dumbo octopus, but I think they're interesting. Have you ever seen the octopus that, like, as soon as scientists saw it on their little camera, they just started laughing? It looks like an octopus with giant Google eyes on it. Oh. I think you showed me that one, yeah. Was yeah. that a Dumbo octopus? Uh, according to some images that I found, it's related to the Dumbo octopus. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'd like to laugh at him. Yeah? With the scientists. <laughs> so you just take an octopus and put giant Google eyes on it. There you go. <sighs> poor guys. Poor, they poor get, guys. They can't even get away. Nope. Nope. They, nope. Hit, they hit themselves at the bottom of the ocean so they wouldn't get picked on by the other nerds. <laughs> and they found them. Oh. I know more about them than I did. Well, good. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on Stuff Lab's best email of the week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>